they remain in good spirits. Uh, uh, the president does have mild symptoms, and as uh, as we look to try to uh, make sure that not only his health and safety and welfare is good, we continue to look at that for all of the American people. Uh, he, uh, he continues to be not only in good spirits, but very energetic. Uh, we we uh, talked a, a number of times this morning. I got the uh, five or six things that he had tasked me to do like I do every single morning. And uh, uh, he, he uh, is certainly wanting to make sure that we stay engaged. I think uh, the other thing that is, is critically important, uh, the, the doctors continue to uh, monitor both his health and the health of the First Lady. Uh, we'll continue to do that. They'll, they'll be glad to provide some, some updates uh, later today as, as we look at this. But I think the, uh, the, the great thing about this president is, is not only is he staying committed to, to working very hard on behalf of the American people, uh, his first uh, question to me this morning was, is uh, how, how, how's the economy doing? How are the stimulus talks uh, going on Capitol Hill? Uh, a number of us uh, in the core team of uh, the White House uh, continue to get tested on a daily basis like we are, uh, like we have been. Uh, and as we look to that, uh, uh, we, we're very excited about making sure that uh, not only that the health and safety of uh, the president and the first lady is addressed, but certainly that uh, we, uh, we address this, this battle together as a nation together uh, and the American people uh, can rest assured that uh, we have a president that uh, is not only on the job, will remain on the job. And uh, I'm optimistic that uh, he'll have a very quick and speedy recovery. How would, you, how would you describe his symptoms and is he taking hydroxychloroquine? Well, I'm not going to get into any particular treatment that he may or may not have. Uh, he has mild symptoms. Uh, as we, we look at that, the, uh, the doctor will continue to uh, uh, provide uh, expertise uh, uh, in the residence. Uh, he's, he's in the residence now. Uh, and uh, in, in true fashion, he's probably critiquing the way that I'm answering these questions. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I can tell you that a, a number of us uh, will uh, uh, be reporting back to him on, on the, the task at hand. So what, if it's what day and time, would you just clear this up, what day and time did you find out that Hope Hicks had tested positive and you didn't spit on it until after the president went out to his fundraising event? Actually, as, as we look at this, uh, I'm not going to get into the TikTok. I can tell you in terms of Hope, Hope Hicks, uh, we uh, discovered that uh, right as uh, uh, the uh, Marine One was taking off yesterday. We actually pull, pulled some of the people that had been traveling and in close contact. The reason why it was reported out, just frankly, is that we had already started the contact tracing just prior to that uh, event. Uh, as you know, last night, uh, even in, in the early hours of this morning, uh, the minute we got a confirmatory test on the president, uh, we felt like it was important to get the news out there at that time. And so uh, uh, that's why we sent out the, the, the tweet uh, late, uh, late uh, or actually early this morning. You know, we, yeah, so uh, I've obviously been tested. We're hopefully more than six feet away, and if uh, if there's any any concern there from a guidance standpoint, uh, we have protocols in place. And we, you know, when when uh, when when early on, early on when we first uh, started to tackle the the COVID-19 battle, we actually did two different things in uh, in the White House. Uh, a number of contingencies as we looked at not only additional testing, but, but certainly uh, uh, mitigating the risk for, for social distancing in, in private meetings and, and the like. But I think it goes to the broader question is, is even with a lot of the mitigating factors, Jim, uh, what, you, what you have is, is a virus that is contagious, that, that certainly uh, continues to be, regardless of whatever protocol we have, uh, that 
that it has the ability to affect everybody. As you know, the president, uh, we keep a, a pretty wide circle. All of you that have interacted with him know that. And so even with that wide circle around the president, we, we find that uh, uh, he's having to deal with this like so many millions of other uh, Americans and people around the world have had to, uh, to do. I, I, can tell you, I, I can tell you that what we're doing is focusing uh, uh, on the therapeutics, the vaccines, continuing to do that, and that doesn't change. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, we, we've tested all of our core staff, and I can tell you that uh, uh, you know, Mr. Mr. Kushner, Mr. Scavino, myself, a number of, uh, of us uh, have been tested, have, have come back with, with negative re results. And, and yet, at, at the same time, I fully expect uh, that as this virus continues to go on, other people in the White House will certainly uh, 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 have a, a, a positive test result. And uh, we've got the mitigation uh, plan in place to make sure that the government not only continues to, uh, to move forward, but the, the work of the American people uh, continues to work for, uh, move forward. And so even as, uh, as recent as, as this morning at a little after 8 o'clock, the president was giving me a number of things to, to make sure that I get done. And I'm, I'm sure that I will actually have those uh, 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 do outs uh, have to be back to him uh, later today. I've got I've got a wrap. I, I mainly I'm, uh, so uh, I'm not going to ask. Uh, so I wanted to come out and give an update to all of you so that uh, show the courtesy of giving an update. We'll have future updates. I'll be glad to do that. But any other specifics at this point would would be not. Okay.